Hey what's up everyone, it's Tejo here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to track your lost Android phone or your lost Android tablet. So let's get started. So I can't give you a hundred percent assurance that you will be able to track your lost Android device but uh, there is a chance to track or there is an option to track your lost Android device and this works in most of the cases. So. Uh, I should also tell you that uh, a specific option in your Google settings should be turned on in order to track your lost Android device. Now I'm going to show you what that option is. So I'm using uh, my Lenovo tablet in this video but it's all the same with any of the Android uh, device. Like it may be an Android phone, it may be an Android tablet, you just got to follow the same steps. So keep watching the video. So firstly go to your Google settings and then go to the security option. And in the security option, you will see uh, what you say an option which says remotely locate this device, this option over here. So you have to make sure that this option is turned on. So what I mean to say is if only this option is turned on on the lost Android device, only then you will be able to track your lost Android device. So by default, every Android device has this option turned on. So you need not worry. And I also recommend you to turn on this option on every of your Android device so that if in case you lose your Android device in the future, you will still have a chance to track it. So make sure that you uh, turn this on on every of your Android device and this is turned on on uh, every Android device by default and we will hope that it is also turned on on your lost Android device. So now let's go ahead and now let's see how to track your lost Android device using your computer. So on your computer open any web browser and in the Google search type in Android device manager. And then click on the first link now however i'll be putting this link in the description below so you can go check the description for this link now in this page it asks you to log in with your gmail account so here you have to log in with the gmail account which is synced with the lost android device so there may be multiple accounts which are synced with the lost android device you can make use of any of them which is under your control and then you can track your lost android device so here in my case i'm going to use uh, one of my gmail account which is already synced with the lost android device so just go to enter the password here and click on the blue sign in button and then you will be directed to a screen like this. Now in this screen you will see all the devices which are synced with that particular Gmail address. So here you can see I have a Lenovo tablet here and this is the tablet. This is the Android device that I am trying to track. So here it says contacting your device. So you just have to be patient and you have to be patient uh, until this uh, is done. And here you go after a while it shows you that uh, the device is tracked and it shows you the exact address where your device is at present. It also shows you a Google map so you can uh, zoom the Google map and you can see where exactly your device is located at present. So here you can see it shows me the location like this so it's very simple and uh, I have to tell you that uh, you should keep in your mind that it works only if the lost Android device is connected to internet somehow it may be uh, by a Wi-Fi network it may be by a mobile network somehow the lost Android device must have some internet access and only then it works of course it's not possible to track any Android device without internet so this is a common thing uh, that is required to track your Android device so if in case your device is not connected to internet I mean if in case the lost Android device is not connected to internet at present uh, if you click on the uh, this icon over here it you know it shows you the last time when your device is active that is when your device is connected to internet and it shows you the last time uh, uh, when the Android device manager is open and when you track the device and it shows you the uh, address there so that address may not be the current address where your Android device is located but that might help you to track your Android device so in such a way you can track your Android device like this and as you can see here there are two more options uh, under this thing and one option says ring and the other option says lock so if you think that you have misplaced your Android device and if you're sure that your Android device is somewhere within your region then you can use this ring option just click on the ring option and the Android device will be ringed remotely so just uh, ring it it says that the device will ring at full volume simply click on the ring button and then your Android device should ring up and if it's in in your region then you will be able to hear the ring and and using that you can easily track your Android device so this is one of the app option to track your Android device 
So here you will see another option which says lock here. So if you want to lock your Android device or if you want to set up a password for your Android device so that no one will be able to use it, then you can click on that. And here you can just simply type in your uh, password here and you can retype it to confirm it. And you can also give it a recovery message, but this is optional. So let me say something like uh, this device is locked. And you can finally click on the lock button here. And then it says the lock request has been sent and it shows me some message like this but you're not going to see any message like this i am seeing this message because i have already locked my android device using the android device manager so if you are locking your android device using the android device manager for the first time then you're not going to see any message like that so that so this ring option or the lock option works only if the lost android device is connected to internet let's say at present your lost Android device is not connected to internet and you perform either a ring request or a lock request so what's going to happen is your Android device is not going to be ringed or locked at present I mean immediately because your lost Android device is not connected to internet so after a while if your Android device is connected to internet then these requests are going to be received for, by your Android device and they are going to be executed so as soon as your uh, Android device is connected to internet, it's either going to be locked or ringed based on the uh, request that you performed. So if you want to erase all the personal data on the lost device, then you can use the erase option here. Just click on the erase option and then click on the erase button here and this will erase all the personal data on your Android device so that uh, it's something like it, it resets your phone and it completely deletes the data on your Android device which is lost. If you are watching this on your mobile, click on the bell symbol and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techroj156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techroj156. Visit my website at techroj156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.